An era is ending in the little town of Prinsburg, Minnesota. No longer will people hear the rumble and rattle of Bob Sportle's pickup truck. What's left is a good story, now made even better. Boyd Hoopert explains. Michael J. Fox in a DeLorean. This is not. But it is going back. And so are we. It's a 1957 half-ton Chevrolet pickup. That's Bob Sportle five winters ago. Yep. When we first shared the story of the truck he purchased in his early 20s from a retiring farmer. I bought it for $75. 75 bucks for a ramshackle pickup. He then drove to work the next 38 years until the day he retired. It becomes a part of you. Um, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Bob's truck is no speedster, but time flew. Truck's running good yet. His 57 is now 63. It's remaining steel as thin as gas station toilet paper. It's exhaust and rattles a clattering symphony reverberating through Prinsburg, which is, by the way, the truck's only soundtrack. There is no radio, never was. This is where it would have been, right here. It's a real man's truck. You don't get soft driving this one. You do grind the gears first. of your wife. It's getting more and more worn out. These holes, this is where the parking lights were. The brakes aren't working very well. The whole works just rusted out. Grandkids want to ride, and what if the door pops open? Catches on here a little bit. I usually hear it at least once a week, twice a week. I want space, yep. When are you going to get rid of it? We need the room in the garage. Which is why that trailer now sits in front of Bob's truck. The trailer connected to Tom Leenstra's truck. Do you ever Mr. think this uh, day would come? No. Tom Leenstra, <laughs> grandson of the late John Vanderveen, the farmer who sold his truck for 75 bucks. I've been working on this for 10 or 12 years. And then his relatives got on me too. I bet there's nobody happier than Kathy right now. <laughs> Negotiations went swiftly. $75. Bob could have gotten more. He bought it for $75 and he's selling it for $75. So that's good. More than just a truck for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's like riding with my grandpa again. Tom was nine when his grandpa sold the truck. But yeah. In his 50s. I wish he could be here. As it's coming back. That's good. Actually, better than good. Awesome. This is it. I'm done. The satisfaction one feels having done. If I don't fall off of here. The right thing. There There's the keys. Thank you, sir. The key Tom's grandpa once carried in the pocket of his overalls. Yeah, yeah, isn't that something? and the 57 Chevy leaving town down a straight road that came full circle. I'm just glad you're getting it. Boyd Hoopert, Carol Evan News, Princeburg. Why some things are just priceless, aren't they? Well, the truck is now at home in Wilmer. Tom says he may replace the suspension and the engine at some point, but for now his plans are simple. He's going to drive his grandpa's truck just the way it is. Very cool. Great stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, it's those family mementos, the relics, they just mean so much. You know, um, it, it, in the family. it reminds me of uh, when my dad and I go fishing up on Rainy Lake, there's a walleye hump that we call the 57 Chevy because we always snag our Lindy rigs on it. <laughs> like there's a sunken 57 Chevy at the bottom of the lake. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, yeah good stuff.